Hi guys, welcome back to a new video on Angular 16. I'm going to be talking about very important concept in Angular called forms. We use forms and create in, in almost every kind of application. Like we have the authentication pages like login, sign up. It require forms. We have the settings. We have the profile. We have the dashboard. We have to create the filters. All everything require forms. Okay, so forms is a very important topic we need to learn. So in Angular, first of all, what we need to do is I've already created a new Angular 16 project and inside it, I actually need to import that forms module first of all in my app.module.ts. So I can actually start writing the import forms module and it is coming from the angular slash forms. Okay. And after this, I need to import it along with the other modules which are added over here. So forms module. All right. Now I can use the forms in my all of the components in this particular project. Okay. So here, first of all, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to come inside my app.component.ts file and first of all I can actually import the data type of the form because in the last video I talked about the data types in TypeScript. So ng form is the data type of the form. In this video I'm going to be talking about the template driven form. In the next video I will talk about the reactive forms. Okay. So both of these have different requirements and different ways of uh, implementation. So we have this forms. Okay. So in this component, first of all, let's go in the HTML. I'm going to remove everything from here. Okay. And I'm going to remove the title. So first of all, let's say that we have the form that require name and email of the user. So I'm first going to write a user and this is going to be containing the name and then the email all right and uh, also i actually needs to provide the data type to it i can provide any data type to it as well but uh, it's always a good practice to write the interface types but if we don't want to create an interface we can directly add the data type to it but that what values we are expecting to add inside it so i can directly write the name which is of type string and the email is of type string as well all right so i've created this variable user of this name and email data type after this i'm going to go in the html and i'm going to create a form which is going to be the template driven form i can design it any way i like but uh, in this tutorial i'm not particularly focusing on the ui uh, in, instead i'm focusing on the functionality okay so let's add the user information okay and after this i'm going to create a form element all right so form element inside it i'm going to create a div and this one div is going to take the label one label is for the name and uh, after this label i'm going to use the input of type name all right so it's going to take uh, let me close it it's going to take the type of type text and then it's going to take an ID name and then it's going to take the name of type. it's actually the equals to not colon okay so name equals to the name and then we have uh, required keyword because if we don't uh, fill it up it will it should throw an error all right so we have added this before actually create the second label here let me add few of the properties to it so first of all we have this for property and for property ha needs to take the name uh, for this so this name that we have added over here is referring to it it means that this label belongs to this particular input all right so let's go to the form first of all so in this form, I'm going to give it the reference using that reference. I can pass the values of that form values means the name and the email or any other element it has. I can use the validation. I can pass the values of the form and share it in other components as well. So it's, it's a very important thing to do over here. So I can use the hash keyword. I can give any name to it. I'm going to give the user form and uh, after this, I'm going to give it the ng form type to it all right 
uh, just like I've added over here, I can pass the ng form type over here. After this, I can add a function to it. So I can use the directive ng submit. And after this, I need to actually pass uh the function name so submit form which is the function name that i yet need to create and after this i can use that reference to actually pass the value of the form of all the elements which i have written inside it all right so this user form belongs to this particular value and we can use this user form to add the validation for the form to pass the values and it gives us the built-in functions as well just like the dot valid dot invalid uh, dot uh, like stuff like that uh, now we have this input tag and now in order to actually bind this thing i've already created a video on the two-way data binding we actually need to bind this input uh, with the particular variable so we have this user dot name with this is what we will be binding that so i'm going to use this square brackets then parentheses then i can write the ng model and after this i can write the user dot name <coughs> all right so this is going to be bind over here it means that whenever we are going to fetch the value from the component to this form and whenever we change the value from this form it's going back and change that variable in back in component as well this is also called the two-way binding all right so <coughs> now i'm going to copy this div let's save it i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it after that for the email so i can change it to email and i can change it this one to email as well text uh, this is going to be of type email then i can write the email over here email as well and then user dot email this is where i'm going to be binding to it all right so after this i need to have another div and this div is of type button so I'm going to give it a button and type is going to be the submit because when I will click on this button, it will automatically trigger this form and call this function as submit form, which I yet need to create in my component. All right. And this submit will automatically be triggered because I have written the type submit to it. All right. And then I can actually add some validation. But for now, let's uh, close it up. So let's, let's give it data type of submit all right so that's pretty much it we need to write in this form um currently it will throw an error because i yet need to create this function in my component so let's first create this function over here so i'm going to write the submit form and it's going to take the form of type ng form all right and uh, you can see that here i actually gave the data type ng form so if this value that user form is going to be passed from here it means that this is going to be of type ng form and in ht in template the typescript we use this particular uh, package to actually give it the data type all right and then this form as i show uh, ask you that we can use a lot of built-in functions from this form this is referring to this user form so i can use the if form dot valid dot valid all right and then i can actually log this out anything form uh, dot value it, it's going to give us all the values um, I can actually use uh, let's print the form dot value and also let's print this dot user as well okay this dot user is going to be shown the value from here this is just to test the two-way data binding if it's working fine because I'm using the ng model directive in my templates and uh, yeah so let's save it now I'm going to run this project in my terminal npm run start uh, I need to navigate inside this so npm run start it's going to run it compile my files uh, which I have written above uh, after this I'm going to show you how we can add the validation what I want to do is I want to disable this button if the email is invalid or empty and the name field is empty as well I'm just going to show you that how we can do it like this I've already given this required uh, it's automatically handled uh, the error handling for the emptiness uh, for the name but for the email validation if the email is correct or not I'll, I'm just going to show you okay so our project is running let's refresh 
and now you can see that it's actually running uh let me add the name let me add the email if i click on the submit you can see that two props have been printed one is from this form dot value we can use both of these this way to actually print the values by passing the value if we don't pass anything we can directly print the variable which we have written above so both of these are printing the right values now uh, let's go and validate this and uh, disable this button when the name is empty or uh, the email is empty or the invalid okay so in the HTML I'm going to use the disabled property okay and equals to I can use the user form uh, reference to it and it gives us a property called invalid okay so if it is invalid then the button is going to be disabled let's save it <clears throat> now you can see that both of these fields are empty so that's why the button is disabled so it means that our validation is working fine let's fill it both of these things now i filled both of these stuff the now the button is enabled again all right now let's validate if the email is uh, valid or not so for that we actually need to create uh, some kind of regular expression uh, that's a different topic it will take a lot quite a lot of time you can learn it I will try to create a new video to explain you guys how we can add the regular expression create that but first of all it's going to be returning the boolean okay first of all I'm going to create the email regex all right so this is a long regex type uh, you don't need to actually care about that uh, you can actually search on google uh, it will provide you all the different regular expression for different types okay uh, it will take quite a lot of time to actually explain you uh, what this is doing but this is how it works and after this i can use the return type the email regular expression dot test and the extension that i'm using which is helping me writing the code is called the uh, tab 9 ai assistant you can install it in your vs code i'm using the free version you can install it free or paid version you can check that out okay you can check out my other video as well on the top uh, extensions of vs code you will learn a lot from that check out my playlist uh, or the video on my channel okay so this is going to return the boolean so if the email which is being added in this uh, in this field because I'm using the ng model two way data binding is being done so the user dot email is automatically going to be updated um, if regular expression the email format is actually validating this email then it's going to return true and after this I can use uh, this particular function over here like this if user dot form is invalid or I can use the validate email this is the function I have created over here make sure you spell it right okay now uh, if the email is invalid then the button will remain disabled now if I write something over here if I write something in the email you will see that the email the submit button is not getting enabled until and unless I write some correct email over here now you can see that the email is validated click on submit and now you can see that the values are being printed so this is how we can create the template driven form you uh, you can use this template driven form when you have the small uh, form uh, that does not have a large fields like the radio buttons drop downs, and stuff like that for that it is recommended to use the reactive forms which I'm going to be talking about in the next video for now that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video like this video and comment below if you have any question